Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Ace Magic Laptop AX15 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your fan, your heatsink assembly, your CPU area, and how to do it safely. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over and access our bottom case screws. So you have four screws along the bottom, two screws in the middle, four more screws on top, now keep in mind, on one of these screws in the corner, there was a sticker on it uh, to tell them if you've gained entry to the computer or not. So just keep that in mind. If you see any stickers like that on various screws inside the computer, it could void part or all of your warranty. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these screws. Another thing to mention is not all screws are the same size. As you can see here, most of these screws were the small screw there, but those two hinge corner ones were the long screws. So keep that in mind when you're going into a computer, keep your screws separate, make sure you know where they go. So after removing all these screws, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm gonna to go across the seam of the bottom case and carefully take it up from the rest of the computer. Oop, that comes up very easily actually. And as you can see, there's nothing on the, on the bottom. It's, it's just a bottom panel, but that came up very, very easily. It, it doesn't seem like there's any clips or anything holding it down other than those screws. After you're inside, this is what you're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also in the description under that link, I will have another link. It'll be a list to all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer if you're looking to replace them or upgrade them. Now the first thing I do before touching anything in a computer is I'll either remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right down here. Uh, there's a piece of black tape going across here, so I'm gonna take that up. Most likely that's where the battery is, is plugged in somewhere in there. So I'm gonna take that up very carefully because I don't wanna rip out anything that it's connected to. So nice and slow. See, it's on some wires there, so I'm gonna hold those wires down while I slowly remove that piece of tape. I don't want it pulling anything up. And then I'm gonna put this tape back down exactly where I found it when I'm done working on my computer. So it looks like the battery is held down by one, two, three, four screws. Maybe there's one in here. Let me take off this piece of tape as well. Yep, so there's one more screw there. Okay, so I'll put that carefully to the side. I'm gonna put that tape back after I'm done. And then after those five screws, it plugs into the motherboard right there. Looks like it came out a little. Uh, maybe it's a little loose, or maybe I made it a little loose by taking that tape out. So I'm gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and I'm gonna push it from each side of that clip, of that plug, until it comes out of that port. It's a little tight in there, but there. So that's how I unplug my battery. We want to avoid pulling on wires anywhere in a computer, if at all possible, just manipulate the plug. But when you pull on wires, sometimes you can pull the wire right out of that plug. And if you want to remove the battery, I'll go ahead and take out these five screws here. Now the battery should just come right up, and there it is. Your fan and your heat sink assembly are right here. Your fan is held down, it looks like, by three screws, and it plugs into the motherboard with the red, blue, yellow, and black wire right there. So again, we don't pull on wires as much as possible. We just pull on the plug, if at all possible. There are no grips on this, so it may be a little bit of a pain in the butt to wiggle that out. If you do need to grab the wires, make sure you use a pair of pliers or something. Try to get as much grip as you can on the plug and not 
the wires to wiggle that out. To get the fan out, you would undo these three screws. To get the heat sink off, you would undo these four screws. Now this is a new computer, so I'm not gonna undo that. When you do remove a heat sink and you expose the thermal paste to air, you do need to reapply that thermal paste. Once air gets in there, it, it's compromised. Uh, so if you are here, if your computer is overheating and you're looking to reapply thermal paste, there will be a video link below in the description. It'll be a tutorial in how to reapply thermal paste. You wanna clean all the old stuff off from both sides, from your heat sink and your CPU. You don't wanna put new paste on top of old paste. And then the video will show you how to put down the right amount. You don't wanna to put too much or you could lock heat into the computer and the CPU instead of getting it out. But that's the video, how to get inside an AX15 access your heatsink assembly. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY tutorials like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any future computer questions you may have. I do try to answer all questions across my channel at least a couple times a day. So thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.